this is a huge uh, developmental challenge, a huge clinical challenge when working with lesbians. It's like to let go of the relationship with the mother, uh, to, uh, to, 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 to not have one psychic life center around the mother is just the most enormous challenge. I, I can't even tell you. I'm going to try to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm here to testify. <laughs> I think 
um, I think what happens is that to say if you say you're a lesbian, then that's saying I'm not like my mother. To be to identify as a lesbian is really saying, you know, like I'm not like my mother. I'm not a woman like my mother. I'm not. And if there are tremendous internal forces, uh, and you know, and it, and and it also means saying, you know, I desired my mother and I was hot for her and all of that stuff. And there are tremendous internal forces against that. Okay, um, and one idea is that there's a lot of ideology that says women are um, women are supposed to keep the family together, and that women, you know this thing I'm talking about, where if you get that, you know, then and in order to and you're in love with mommy and you want to please mommy, then you want to do whatever it's going to take to please mommy, and and if you're good, and mommy damn well wants you to get married and and not know yourself. You know, not know, not know yourself. So you like bas basically you be become disembodied and like kind of blown out. You, you lose your mind, you lose your body. Uh, that's one idea. You know, that, that is this early, this early trauma of, uh, you know, you won't, uh, you, you won't be uh, that kind of a girl. The false self gets really, really established really strongly early so that you can survive, so you can still have mom's love, so you can still please, so you can still be mommy's girl because, you know, you want to wear the wedding dress under the bed because mom's been keeping it there for you for your whole life. There's that powerful connection with the mother that I think is different for the boy, you know. Um, Does that cause love to embed death lighter because it's unreconciled? Wait, say that again. Does <laughs> uh, that cause lesbian bed death layer because it's unreconciled? All of a sudden, you just look at your partner and it's like, uh uh. You know, there's just like, all, it's like Brokeback Mountain. There's all this angst and you've you got to fight through it to get to that. Right, right on. Yeah, absolutely. Because in the, we project our, our mother. If we haven't worked this through, we're going to project our, I mean, everybody does this, you know, but we, we're going to project our mothers onto our, onto our lovers. And then uh, all the trauma is going to show up. Relationship, yeah. But let's say you know, the your partner is your core issues are being triggered by your dad dynamics, even though you're a lesbian. I mean, with Jungian psychology, does it not necessarily mean gender to gender, but more the feminine and masculine issues? Um, you know what I mean? Okay. Well, what I'm proposing, here, what I'm doing here, has nothing to do with Jungian psychology. I'm like, I'm gonna go to that next. This is really my like classic sort of object relations, uh -huh. you know, developmental psychoanalytic theory because the unions really didn't deal with early childhood development mm -hmm. at all. They weren't thinking about that. But what, what I would say to you, like, is that um, it may look like it's the father, mm -hmm. but I'm going to put money on that it's the mother. So okay. are you saying that in a lesbian relationship, you're more triggered by your mother issues because it's it's just you're you're going by the gender to gender relationship, right? Because lesbians are like women who are like hot for other women. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and then I, I'm going to talk about the feminine, the masculine inner yeah. when I get to the yogi and thing, okay. and maybe that'll clarify a little. Yeah. But right now I'm, a, I'm I actually am I'm not being metaphoric. I'm being okay. literal okay. about like you know I like a, a, I'm a, a, a lesbian. I'm a, I'm a Lesbian. I'm a female in a female body who's hot for other females in other female bodies. Mm -hmm. That's that's what's going on mm -hmm. here. Yeah, at the body level. And then then there's we can parse the other thing out uh, okay. from a union point of view. And that's where I'm going next. Okay. okay. Yeah. This is a dumb question, but yay! We love dumb questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the false self. I get the impression uh, from my own life and uh, from, you know, is that it gets so merged early on that it's very difficult to see it as a false self. And even if you see it as a false self, you're really only looking at the tip of the iceberg. You don't really realize how much there is that's false. Oh. It's merged. And that might be relevant a little bit to its question. It might be more merged with lesbians. That's really nice. Yeah, I think that's really nice. The extent to which we are 
uh, pretending to be something other than what we are. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, all right. Let's go on and try to let me try to talk about it, this this situation from a Jungian perspective. Uh, okay. It's about time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 